We are headed out to the Icefields Parkway. In about 8,000 years ago, the entire area was just filled to the brim with glaciers. Both Banff and Jasper National Park are actually UNESCO protected sites. Starting off with Hector Lake, named after the first white explorer that came to this valley, Dr. James Hector. This is the largest and deepest natural lake in Banff National Park. As you drive along the Icefields Parkway, you will come across over a hundred glaciers along this 143 mile or 230 kilometer stretch. There you'll see lots of areas where fire has naturally been allowed to burn to help with the pine beetle infestation that seems to take down trees. You'll run across these beautiful glacial waters, multiple peaks, and none of them of which have names or signs attached so it's really important that you get a map. You'll definitely want to bring your binoculars and a wide angle as well as a zoom lens because you will be able to see mountain goats on the sides of the cliffs. The black bears tend to hang out on the side of the road eating dandelions the closer you get to Jasper. The pinnacle of your icefield adventure is when you're stopping at the Columbia Icefields to see the Athabasca Glacier. Snowfall here can be around 23 feet per year. The ice can reach depths up to 1,200 feet or 635 meters. It can take 150 years for the ice to reach the edge of the glacier with some of the ice dating back to almost 400 years old. If you want to get tickets to see the ice field and step on it, you just come inside where you can grab both a snack, your tickets to go up onto the glacier with your bus pass, as well as going out onto the skywalk. As we rolled into Jasper, our driver took a bit of a detour because he heard from a friend there were some bullhorned sheep right next to the river. Animals have a way of reminding me to just slow down and appreciate the moment. We're in such a beautiful place, and it isn't always about getting the shot or seeing the next trail or lake or whatever. Just remember that the slower you go on your pace on this journey through the ice fields and through these beautiful UNESCO sites, the more that you're going to go home being grateful for the world that we live in and such beautiful scenery. Look at this. It's got like a woody feeling bathroom. And then they even have a little kitchenette with an oven and a toaster and a fridge. Silverware, pots, pans. 
It's a dishwasher. Oh my gosh. And look, they left a little dishwasher thing. That's so cool. This is like dream vacation for your whole family. You've got a place to hang whatever clothes you bring, a few drawers, somewhere to put your suitcase, even a little couch benchinette, somewhere to sit. Nice beds. Ooh, those are soft. And the view even has a little balcony for yourself. So I just checked into the Forest Park Hotel. It is just a few minutes outside of downtown Jasper. I really like the idea of this hotel because it's more of a resort style and very family friendly. They've got a pool, an indoor pool, a ballroom. They've got it all, even elk that love to hang out around this hotel. Let's go and take a tour of the hotel and then we're gonna go into town to Terra and I'll tell you more about that restaurant a little bit and I will see you guys in the hotel tour. After settling into our rooms, we took a short walk over to Terra, another pursuit restaurant. And let me tell you, if Canada had Michelin stars, this place would definitely be on its way. From the lampshades that look like bird's nests with the eggs repre represented by the lights, as well as the outside being brought into the restaurant, the farm to table type experience and a chef Shane Rutledge who is completely dedicated to making the food here incredible along with the lovely members of Pursuit that we all joined for dinner here. Now this whole theme is bringing the outside indoors and they have a foraging fresh local produce that they bring right into the restaurant, open up the windows and you get this fresh mountain breeze from the park. I cannot wait to dig into this food. It looks amazing and they have some excellent cocktails as well that are very creative. Our restaurant theme is farm to table. We focus on local ingredients, uh, seasonal, and we focus closely on things that are closer to here. So, like we have stained nettles that are in the mountains, we have elk, we have salmon that's from BC, uh, we got duck that's from Ontario. Like, we try to keep it into Canada. Here for the moose bouche is a tataki style elk. So it's cold, rare, seared elk. And then on top is pickled rhubarb. That's from Robson Farms. It's about 40 minutes from here in BC. Uh, the elk is actually wild elk. And then we have cured egg yolk, black garlic aioli. Mm. Pickled rhubarb. My new favorite, holy cow. The elk is so good too. I always say that food tells the story of the person making it, and you can definitely feel that in Shane's dishes. He really puts his heart and soul and pride of his Canadian heritage into each and every one of these dishes, and you can taste it in the flavors and in the atmosphere of the restaurant. Carrots mm. with the hummus and then the carrot chips. It hits you in a way that 
makes you feel like you're home. Here at Terra, they tantalized our taste buds with the fresh foraging of the seven staples of Alberta. They do change their menu seasonally, but I guarantee every dish you're going to fall in love with, just as we did. And we ended our night with a walk back to the hotel again with beautiful sunsets and views. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.